we have another example on the board. Again, we're supposed to find the derivative of this function using the definition. So, because I'll need a little bit more space, I'm going to go to the problem right away without capping the formula. Okay, we're going to use this formula. So, we have dy over dx is equal limit and I have delta x approaches to zero and right now I suppose to write 2 over square root 1 minus and instead of x I suppose to write x plus delta x so I have x plus delta x minus okay my original function so I have 2 over square root 1 minus x everything over delta x okay Next, we're supposed to find the common denominator in order to subtract the fractions in the numerator. So I'm going to write that this is limit and I have delta x approaches 0 and in the numerator I have 2 square root 1 minus x minus 2 square root 1 minus x plus delta x okay everything over square root 1 minus x plus delta x times square root 1 minus x everything is over delta x this is equal limit and I have delta x approaches 0 and factorize 2 so I have 2 open parenthesis square root 1 minus x minus square root 1 minus x plus delta x close parenthesis over okay so this delta x will go to my denominator so I have delta x Okay, so I'm going to have square root 1 minus x plus delta x times square root 1 minus x. Okay, please notice that in the numerator we have the difference of two terms right with the square roots so what we are going to do we are going to eliminate these square roots by multiplying multiplying the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the numerator so instead of equal sign I'm going to write over here multiplication and multiply the numerator and denominator by the conjugate of the numerator so multiply the top by square root 1 minus x plus square root 1 minus x plus delta x 
over square root 1 minus x plus square root 1 minus x plus delta x. Okay, so now we are going to deal with the difference of two squares. Let me remind you the formula. We have a squared minus b squared is equal a minus b and I have a plus b. So this is basically, uh, this is the form which we have right now on the board. We have a minus b times a plus b and this is equal a squared minus b squared. So it means that we are going to square this term and we are going to square this term. If you are going to square them, you are going to eliminate the square roots. So we have, again, limit delta x approaches 0 and we have 2, open parenthesis, and I have 1 minus x minus, open parenthesis, 1 minus x plus delta x. Close parenthesis, close parenthesis, close parenthesis, over delta x, and we have open parenthesis, square root 1 minus x plus delta x times square root 1 minus x times and we have square root 1 minus x plus square root 1 minus x plus delta x. Okay, so let me just uh, tell you that I copied down delta x and basically the product of these terms times this denominator. Okay, so next we're supposed to organize the numerator. Okay, so I'm going to write over here that this is the limit with delta x approaches to 0 and in the numerator we are going to to uh, have 2 and inside of the parentheses we are going to have 1 minus x negative times 1 is negative 1 and I have I have negative and negative will give me positive, so I'm going to have x plus delta x. Over the denominator. So this is my denominator. So let's check what we can reduce. So I have 1 and negative 1, they are going to cancel out. I have negative x and positive, they are going to cancel out. I have 2 delta x over and I have delta x, I have to copy down the whole denominator and I have open parenthesis square root 1 minus x plus delta x close parenthesis, close parenthesis, open parenthesis, square root 1 minus x, close parenthesis, open parenthesis, I have square root 1 minus x plus square root 1 minus x plus delta x, close parenthesis, close parenthesis. 
Okay, so let's take a look what we have. We have delta x and delta x that are going to cancel out. And we have delta x approaches zero. So, so I'm going to have this delta x approach to zero. And I'm going to have also this delta x, okay, which will approach to zero. So let's take a look what left. We have two in the numerator and in the denominator we are going to have one minus x, of course square root one minus x and I have square root one minus x and I have square root one minus x plus square root one minus x. So I have square root one minus x to the second power and I'm going to have two times square root of one minus x. So I'm going to have two and I'm going to have square root of one minus x to the third power. Okay, so this is two and two will cancel out and I'm going to have one over square root of one minus x to the third power. This is the solution to my problem.